we've always been exposed to dust, fires, and smoke, but have evolved to live in, in those types of environments. But the industrial pollution, the combustion particles we see from automobiles and power plants and so forth it has put an extra burden on us that we have to deal with. In our cities, people live in very close proximity to roads. You can just see how busy the roads are in the background. And there's quite a lot of evidence which suggests that the emissions from traffic and specifically the emissions from diesel vehicles are something which we should be extremely concerned about. When uh, people are outdoor, they can be exposed to elevated peaks of outdoor air pollution. And sometimes we don't find these peaks indoor, depending on whether people smoke, etc. However, because we are indoor for so long, we also need to consider prolonged exposures, because even prolonged exposure to lower level of pollutants can have a health effect. Most people, when they get inside, they think they're in a sort of safe haven. And actually, it's quite the opposite, potentially, because the outdoor air pollution problems actually migrate indoors, so you see the same pollutants going into a home. And then there's the, the pollution events that you actually generate yourself when you're at home. We start off with individual pollutants being released, maybe from candle burning, uh, wood stove release, through cleaning products, through our carpets, through our furniture, which are now all covered in fire retardant chemicals. When we fry, we release a lot of particles and gases. They will interact invisibly all around us and we will get secondary reactions and we'll get new pollutants being produced, some of which we know about, some of which we don't know about yet probably. And then we're breathing in this cocktail. So you can't just focus on the outdoors. You should be focusing on the indoor-outdoor continuum of what you are breathing in. For us, the sort of focus on meaningful action in terms of awareness and education is absolutely crucial. And so working with leading scientists in the field of air quality, air pollution, is critically important to helping us achieve that and, and support that. The Breathe London project that we got involved in is a great example of that, where we helped supply 50 backpack air quality monitoring sets that they could then use with school children in London to look at the pollution that the kids were exposed to on their journey to and from school. I think there's a real understanding of this sort of massive problem of air pollution, but it's not an easy problem to fix. The more information we get about it, the impact it has on people, how we can resolve some of those issues, the, the better position we're in, I think. <laughs>